An original MCM production. I'm going to call the Special Operations uh, Committee meeting to order, and I would ask that the roll would be recorded. Commissioner Moll. Here. Commissioner Martinsek. Here. Commissioner Swan. Here. Commissioner West. Here. Commissioner Krieger. Here. Commissioner Hermes. Here. You have a quorum. Thank you. We have one item of new business to address, uh, item 13, <coughs> and that is file number 17. 017-1 and it's a modification to some work on the inline storage system. Let's see Mike Martin is here to present the uh, information. <coughs> Good morning commissioners. Uh, Mike Martin, Director of Technical Services. The commission has requested to authorize the executive director to execute modification number two to contract J01018C02 inline storage system pumps number two and three coating and wear ring rehabil rehabilitation with Butters Bedding Company, Inc. in amount not to exceed $20,550 and to restore the executive director's authority for approving future modifications. So as the commissioner is aware, we have the deep ISS or deep tunnel pump system. There are three pumps that we use to uh, pump from the deep tunnel system to either Jones Island or South Shore. Those pumps are important, very important for maximizing our treatment capacity. They're, each of them are very large pumps, uh, 5,000 horsepower, 70 million gallons per day. So at some point in time, we had inspected pumps two and three and determined that the interior of, that, of those pumps needed rehabilitation. I'll get into that a little bit more. They, uh, there's a coating that protects the steel from wear. Also, the pump number two, the wear ring, there's uh, internal components, have uh, worn and abraded. They've exceeded their tolerances, and uh, by restoring them, we can uh, um, restore the pump capacity and efficiency. So here's some <coughs> photos of the pump system itself. The big blue box is the motor and the, and the uh, uh, kind of beige, you can't, hard to tell with the lighting, but it's a beige or a gray color on the left is the pump. <coughs> So the commission awarded the contract to do the restoration. It was awarded back in September. And again, the, the purpose was to restore the interior coating of pumps two and three and uh, restore their tolerances, restore the capacity. Um, <clears throat> scope, disassemble the pumps, and then uh, inspect what you can see. We can only see a limited amount when we do the inspection itself without pulling the pump off. Then the contractor has to prepare the surfaces and apply the abrasion resistant, resistant coating, replace the wear rings, reassemble, and then uh, start up and testing. So when we had done the original inspection, um, you can only see so far in. You use a, it's a device that can see inside, but you can only see so much from the external um, without pulling the lid off. So we did an inspection and based our bid package on what we could see. We estimated the quantity of, of what needed to be done, the protective coating material based on that inspection. Picture of the pump being dismantled. So again, you can only see so much without that whole piece being lifted off. So on pump number three, that work began in November. Um, when we got into pump number three, the existing conditions uh, resulted in the need to perform additional surface restoration. Uh, the interior surface was pitted and abraded beyond that, what was identified in the contract. The contractor had to apply a metal filler, which was not in the original contractor, and then the, in the original contract, and then additional coating was all necessary above the contract quantity. We also uh, found some corroded worn bolts, replaced those. Work on pump, pump number three is now. 
see that on the left and the bottom, there's three separate pictures. The left and the middle picture show that should be smooth metal. You can see it's been abraded out. Again, from the pictures, you can see before and after uh, the coating uh, material has been restored in the right-hand picture. That's the lower casing. This corroded bolt. So that was pump number three. We uh, recently began work on pump number two. We pulled, moved that work forward from the original contract and uh, pulled open the pump on that one. And we found conditions similar to pump number three, not surprisingly after we'd done pump number three. Again, we need additional quantities of filler and coating. We also found some damage on pump number two that we did not find on pump number three. That's on some bushings. Those require repair. And pictures are similar. This is just the inside of pump number two. See that's the interior of the pump, and you can see the pitted metal. Also, it's difficult to tell in this one, but there are some internal components that have <clears throat> um, basically they've worn and they're rotating in a way that sh they should not be rotating. We have to repair those bushings. So the requested modification, um, we have a already processed modification number one, which included work on pump number three. So we got that work under our original mod and some of the additional work on pump number two. We used up most of uh, the executive director's authority for contract mods under mod one. This requested mod number two, that includes the estimated cost to perform the remaining additional work on pump number two. That amounts not to exceed $20,550. Those uh, were, they were, we do have budget in the 2017 budget for this, and uh, we anticipate this pump number two will be put back into service no later than February 28th. Um, so that will be, that pump will be out of service until about then, depending on the extent of the uh, bushing repair. We're also requesting to restore the exec direct, executive director's authority for contract modifications. We've used up all but $888 of this authority. Um, we don't anticipate needing that, but just in case we do, it uh, would prevent us from having to come back again to the commission and stopping the contractor from doing work. And that would result in delays and uh, potential additional costs. Any questions? Commissioners, have any questions? Not a motion would be in order. Rule. Second. Moved by Commissioner <coughs> Bowl and seconded by Commissioner West. Seeing no further discussion, I'll call the vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? <coughs> motion passes and is adopted. Uh, and that concludes uh, the activity of the Special Operations Committee meeting for this morning. So a motion for adjournment would be in order. So moved. Second. Moved by Commissioner West, seconded by Commissioner Martinsek. Seeing no discussion, all those in favor, aye. Aye. We are adjourned. <coughs> for the record, it's 9.03. I will call the uh, full commission to order. Will the uh, commission secretary please call the roll? Commissioner Bull. Here. Commissioner Eli. Here. Commissioner Gramling. Here. Commissioner Krieger. Here. Commissioner Manzanet. Here. Commissioner Martinsec. Here. Commissioner Perez is excused. Commissioner Swan. Here. Commissioner West. Here. Commissioner Hermes. Here. You have a quorum. Thank you. <coughs> <coughs> Approval of the proceedings of the regular commission meeting held December 19th and of the special committee meeting held on January. I'll take those in block should there be no objection. Approval. Second. The, the uh, approval by Commissioner West, the second by Commissioner Manzanet. Is there a discussion upon those meetings or additions or corrections? To approve the minutes, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? The minutes are so approved. So authorized. <coughs> Next up on the uh, 
agenda is the new business of the Scott and Pat show. Center Council. We have a new operations partner. and committee report, or operation and maintenance report, rather. Morning, a new presenter today. Morning, Commissioner. Morning. I'm Sid Aurora, Assistant Manager for Contract Compliance. Good morning, Sid. Scott Royer, General Manager for Veolia. Hi. Go ahead, Sid. just go through the PowerPoint. All right. So uh, I'll be presenting the December 2016 update for O&M. You have to click it. Okay, right all right. Right here? No. Oh, yeah. During the month of December, MMSD was in full compliance with the WPDES permit. Veolia was in full compliance with the O&M agreement. There was no CSO or SSO that was reported. <coughs> Percent capture for 2016 was 99.8%. So when you read about overflows, it's the 0.2% last year of the total flow that we treated last, last year. So again, another very good year for the district. Okay, this table shows the influent and effluent characteristics for both water reclamation facilities and all of the parameters with, were within their normal ranges. In the o &M agreement, Veolia is entitled for um, performance bonuses uh, based on the performance of the water reclamation facilities. For 2016, BOD for Jones Island and South Shore averaged 6.7 milligram per liter. TSS 6.2 milligrams per liter and fecal color forms 49. So Veolia will receive a $120,000 bonus uh, based on the 2016 effluent quality. Okay, this graph shows Jones Island effluent biochemical oxygen demand, total suspended solids for the last 13 months, and we've been well below the, both the permit limit and the contract limit. It shows South Shore effluent BOD and TSS, and again, we're well below the permit and contract limits. This shows <coughs> Jones Island and South Shore effluent fecal coliform. And again, we're below our contract limit. This shows Jones Island effluent total phosphorus, and we're below the permit limit. This shows South Shore effluent total phosphorus in relation to the six month limit, and again, we're well below that limit. Uh, for December, the precipitation was below the average, and for the entire year, 2016, the precipitation was also below the average. The total volume captured during storm events um, in the deep tunnel was 3.6 billion gallons, and 5.3 billion gallons was the total volume captured in the deep tunnels and dewatered. There were a total of two uh, combined sewer overflow events. One of them occurred in August. That was a hydraulic capacity related event. The second occurred in September. That was ISS related event. There was no SSO. In our WPDES permit, we have, uh, we are allowed six s uh, CSOs and no SSO events. This is a graphical representation of the precipitation for 2016. You can see three of the months, uh, March, September, and October were above normal, and all the others were below normal. O&M contract also entitles Veolia for performance bonus related to ISS and conveyance system. Since there was only one 
CSO event in 2016, um, we only able to receive a um, $100,000 bonus. There was uh, no conveyance system non-capacity related overflow in 2016. Hence, we were only able to receive another $100,000. This shows the 2016 biosolids production and inventory. For the year 2016, our total production was uh, 40,274 tons. Our silo inventory levels at the end of the year were below the maximum operating levels. We actually matched very closely to the um, marketing request for 2016. Okay, this graph shows maintenance backlog for both preventive maintenance work orders and corrective maintenance work orders, and they're within their normal range. And there were no um, um, <coughs> No corrected maintenance work orders over 90 days that were of, of uh, urgent nature. I'm sorry, that's mine too. Um, unfortunately, we did have one recordable incident um, in, uh, in December in which uh, an employee did require medical attention. We still have no lost time accidents in over two years. We declared emergency on the recycle bin offload screw on September 23rd. Um, um, well, offload screw broke on September 23rd. We declared emergency on October 6th. Uh, Marshall erecting was contracted. The screw and the gearbox was replaced. The final project cost was 49,000. Um, this would be the last update on this repair. This shows the uh, recycled bin number two offload screw. Another thing we want to update commission on uh, ISS pump X. Mike, Mike mentioned one of the ISS pump will be out until mid-February due to repairs. And also at the same time the South Shore head tank will be out. We will have limited pumping capability during this time frame. <coughs> Questions from the commission? Thank you, gentlemen. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, before I move ahead, uh, it's been brought to my attention that the, the passing of uh, Alderwoman Marlene Johnson Odom occurred on January 9th. And uh, the reason we bring that forward is she was a uh, previous commissioner on our body, serving from 1993 to 1997 for four years. Uh, the commission, myself, extend our sympathies to the family, the loss of one of our uh, commissioners. She served the sixth district of the city of Milwaukee uh, from 1980 to 2004 uh, as a, a city alder person and we will miss her. Moving on now to the operations committee report. Commissioner Krieger, would you lead us through that? Yes, we did meet and we considered uh, numerous items, uh, of which four of them, I believe it's four, yes, have been recommended to be moved forward to the full commission for approval. And I'm going to just read these numbers because uh, they're, they're not in a consecutive order. Item 1, file number 17-005-1 was recommended for approval. Item 2, file number 17-006-1 was recommended for approval. Item 5 uh, was File number 17-009-1 was recommended for approval. And then we go all the way to item number 13, which was uh, recommended 
for approval at uh, an earlier meeting this morning, and that was file number 17-017-1. And uh, without objection, I will move to approve those all in a block. Second. Thank you. The motion by Commissioner Krieger, the second by Commissioner West. Is there discussion upon those items in a block? Seeing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion is carried. The items are so approved. Is there further business before the uh, from the Operations Committee? No, that uh, concludes the report of the Operations Committee this morning. Thank you, Commissioner Krieger. We'll next move to the Policy Finance Personnel Committee report. Commissioner Mark uh, Manzanet, would you lead us through that one, please? Good morning. Yes, thank you. Uh, the Policy, fin uh, uh, Policy and Finance Personnel Committee did meet, and items 6 through 11 uh, were all recommended for approval. So move. I so move. Second. Second. Motion made by Commissioner Manzanet, the second made by Commissioner West. Is there further discussion upon those items in block? Thank you. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? The items have carried and are so approved. That moves us to the, or is there further business? That concludes. Thank you. That moves us to the organization and administration report from the executive director's report. Kevin? Although we have great staff, I have no staff recognitions today, so uh, no individual recognitions as we've had in the past few months. And I would like to thank the uh, Commission for the uh, special commission meeting two weeks ago, the special operations committee meeting today. The good news is a lot of these projects are moving uh, very efficiently and quickly, and we're getting them done, and um, we're getting the uh, ISS pump work done when it's a cold period. So. Hopefully we'll be up and ready to uh, go for the uh, spring rains that'll start in March. Other than that, uh, no other reports. We do have one closed session item. Thank you. Um, Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'd like to make a motion to go into closed session pursuant to Wisconsin statute 19.85 and for the purposes as set forth on the published notice and agenda. Second. Thank you. The motion to go into closed session by Commissioner Gramley, the second by Commissioner West. Is there any uh, discussion upon that? Seeing none, all in favor of going into closed session signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Regular session is now over. We are now, we will go into closed session after a five minute recess. An MCM production.